Welcome to the Secrets of College Planning. I'm your host, Anthony Uva, and today we're going to get some insight into college basketball at the Ivy League. My guest today is Carla Burberry, and she is the head women's basketball coach at Princeton University. And welcome to the show. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah. yeah. So uh, usually I start my guests uh, where you went to college. So where'd you go to school? Yeah, I went to University of Connecticut uh -huh. um, back in the uh, mid mid nineties, a okay. little time ago. But yeah, that's uh, that's where I uh, spent four years. So let's just go back in time before we get started on uh, what you're doing today. Um, in high school, when did it all begin for you? Was it freshman year, high school, senior year? When did it all start? When did all the recruiting start? Yeah. Um, well, back in the day, uh, I remember my mother had made some uh, video VHS tapes of me uh, playing. Um, I don't even think it was highlights. I think it was just just a couple high school games and sent them out to a couple places. I think that was early on, maybe like ninth grade. Wow. Um, and then, yeah, I was on the AAU um, circuit. It was, it was called the Junior Olympics back then. And I was on a, a pretty good team up in um, central Massachusetts. So, wow. um yeah, got a lot of exposure being on that team, and um, yeah, probably started getting really recruited by the uh, end of ninth grade into tenth grade, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, was took it took it from there. Had a, played on a really good high school team as well, so um, yeah, just was fortunate to be on a lot of uh, you know winning winning teams. So by the time you became a senior, you only had University of Connecticut or a whole bunch of schools? Yeah, I think, uh, well, back then I uh, had some uh, home visits uh, the fall of my senior year. Um, I think I had about seven home visits. And then I scheduled five official visits and ended up going just on three official visits and then canceled the last two after I had been on my visit to Connecticut oh. going. I, I really wanted to go there. Oh, fantastic. So now... You get to University of Connecticut, give us what it's like under Coach uh, mm -hmm. Ariyama. Yeah. Um, yeah. What, is, what is it like? Um, it, was, uh, it was tough. Um, he's uh, demanding. Um, he's trying to, you know, get the, get the best out of you, the most out of you. So he's challenging. Um, practices were, were hard and competitive and um, but it was fun because I was playing with my best friends um, we we're playing at a at a really high level and um, it was an incredible experience and so glad that I that I chose that that school it, when I went on the visit it felt like home to me and that's really what it was for for four years and it's still um, a really important part of, of who I am um, mm -hmm. being a, a Connecticut husky so um, yeah, it was a it was a, a wonderful experience. So now, how does one go from graduating University of Connecticut and ends up as the head women's basketball coach at Princeton mm -hmm. University? Yeah, um, I played a little bit after I graduated um, in the ABL, which was a, a, a league before the WNBA, and then. Um, once that folded, I kind of got out of basketball totally, I moved out to California for, for two years and kind of, you know, sort of found myself, kind of figured out what I wanted to do. Never thought about coaching while I was at Connecticut, wow. even right after. And then, um, while I was in California, I did some volunteer coaching at Cal Poly, uh, in San Luis Obispo and caught the, caught the bug. And, um, from there, um, had applied to some some places, didn't get anything out there, and then um, Coach Oriyama and, and the UConn staff helped me get my first job, which was at Providence College as wow. an assistant. Um, two years there, and then um, found out about the the NESCAC, which is a Division three right high academic um, liberal arts colleges in in New England, and um, after two years at Providence, moved over to Tufts University, um, was there for 17 years. Wow. And um, yeah, loved loved being there, loved um, being right outside of Boston and, and coaching really driven, um, smart, um, you know, women with, with just great work ethics. And um, yeah, we had some great success there. And then yeah, and then Princeton opened up, um, right, like five, almost five years ago. And yeah. Um, yeah, it seemed like a good time to to move on and and uh, just start a new journey and a new experience, and then that's where I am today. Wow, yeah. fantastic! So now <clears throat> let's get into Princeton and uh, what it's like. So, as a student freshman, um, when they come to Princeton University, 
Um, what could they expect from the women's basketball team? Give me a year's worth of, you know, do they come in in July? Do they come in in September? How does it all start for a freshman recruit that's yeah. coming into Princeton yeah. University? I mean, the Ivy League is different than a lot of the rest of the world. There is no summer summer classes before you start um, before you matriculate into to the university. So they're not they're not here. Um, they you know, they come in September or late August with the rest of the, the freshman class and, and start their their journey um, during orientation. And then, um, yeah, we start practices right away. As soon as they, you know, get on campus and start classes, we start we start practicing then workouts. Um, and so, yeah, that's a bit different than r- the rest of the world. Um but in and that happens during their their the course of their four years too. They're not spending their summers on campus taking mm. summer classes. Those summers are to get internships or you know travel the world, take uh, global seminar courses in, in different countries. And um, that time is for you to um, you know just kind of experience a lot of different things. Um, they're certainly playing basketball and lifting and and training, um, but the summers are are for them. So, and then the rest of the year is playing basketball, yeah. and it goes all the way until about February, uh, March? March, hopefully, yeah. We <laughs> love to play in the NCAA tournament, so that goes into, into mid-March, um, hopefully late March, and then we take a couple weeks off right after the end of the season, and we start up with uh, postseason workouts, um, and that goes until um, final start, which is um, sometime in, in May. Um, so yeah, it's a right. It's a full full year academic calendar that right. they are um, training and, and playing with us, but um, not with us during the the summers. So now, um, how does one start to get recruited at Princeton University? What what is uh, what does it entail for you? Do you go out and find these kids, mm-hmm. or do the kids find you? How how does yeah. it all work? Yeah, um, it's a little bit of both. Um, we certainly can't just step into a gym and just watch everybody. We really need to have a, an idea of their academic profile and background, um, or we're just kind of wasting our time. So, um, we do our homework. We, you know, we talk to, to coaches, um, a lot of coaches, whether it's AU coaches, club coaches, or high school coaches contact us about, about players. And sometimes we hear directly from the, the student athletes too. Um, so it's a combination of everything. We, we love to, to hear from student athletes that are interested in, in, um, in Princeton. Um, we'd love to definitely hear about their, their academic profile, what their, you know, what their goals are and, and certainly need to see some, some film. And, um, yeah, and we, we start pretty early. We're looking at, you know, high school students from freshman year up to, to senior year. I mean, usually by senior year, we know who's, who's coming, who we've targeted, but, um, probably up to their, their junior year through their junior year. Um, and yeah, it kind of goes from from there. Now, does a student um, have to be on a, a sport like an AAU team, or uh, can they just do high school basketball to get to play yeah. at the college level? Yeah, um, not necessarily, but um, most of them do play in the summer, um, whether it's on like a, a national team or a, or a younger national team um, or the AAU circuit, um, playing some sort of of summer basketball to see sure. that they are, you know, committed throughout the, the year. Um, but, um, I don't think that's a, in the necessity. Um, you know, if we see them and we really think that they can help us and impact our, our program, then, um, you know, it, I don't think that that matters, but I think most of them, most of them do. So now what type of students do you look for? Um, do these, do these women have to be really tall? Do they have to have 4.0 GPAs? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. do they, you know, what, what are you looking for in an athlete? Well, of course, like the university is looking for really strong, right. Students, um, those that are, um, doing very, very well. And they're taking the most challenging courses that they can at their high schools and they're successful. And, um, you know, we still, um, are looking at SATs and ACTs, um, as well to help your, your, you know, your academic profile, um, and help your application, um, as far as the, the athlete that we're looking for, um, yeah, we like length, we like, <laughs> we like height, but that's not, um, you know, a necessity. We've got some five, seven, five, eight players, but, um, I'd love a six, two point guard. That would be great. Um, 
But like great athleticism. Um, I love the defensive side of the ball. So you need to be able to, um, you know, keep your player in, in front of you. So lateral quickness is, is important. Um, I like players that can communicate on the floor, that play great help defense, that, um, yeah, that, that use their use their body to, you know, to, to be successful on the defensive side. And then, um, yeah, offensively, yeah, have, have a good skill set. Um, be able to, to score the ball inside, outside, um, you know, guards need to be able to, to shoot the three, but put the ball on the, the floor. We love like three level scores that can shoot the three pull-ups finishes at the rim. Um, post that can stretch the floor, right. That can step outside. Um, but also can, can score in the middle. Um, but we're looking for just a combination of being a great student athlete that works really hard, that is a sponge that wants to get better, that has a growth, um, you know, growth mindset and that, that loves the game. Right? Yeah. I think that's really important is to have a, a great passion for the, for the sport of basketball and that, you know, you love playing, you love playing with your teammates and it, and it shows when you're, when you're out there. So now one of the biggest challenges that I hear from parents is um, cost, mm -hmm. cost of the universities. Um, how does Princeton University work with students? Do, does everybody have to be on a need-based level or does Princeton say, hey, uh, once you're accepted, uh, we'll, we'll help you out somehow. Yeah. Uh, how, do, how does it all work? Yeah, I mean, it's all a financial base. It's all need-based. Um, we've got one of the very best um, financial aid programs in the, in the country. Um, and so the university is committed to helping, you know, families get what they, what they need um, for their, you know, for their children to, um, to attend. And, um, yeah, I mean it does. It's different than than your your scholarship, you know, schools and um but you know, I think we think that it's a great investment in their in their future and yeah. you know the um the education that they'll get, the the experience that they'll they'll have on on campus. Um it's not just 4 years, it is a it is a 40 50 year experience because you really are a part of this Princeton community for for life. Now, what are some of the challenges that you find athletically with students that, that come to Princeton? Um, <clears throat> well, I think there's, I mean, as freshmen, it's just like trying to balance everything, right? There's so much going on on campus. Um, you know, you, you know, a lot of these, you know, um, student athletes that, that, that come, they've been very, very successful in, in all facets of their life. And, and you get to Princeton and everybody's been successful. So, you know, it's not, it, you, you know, you're not going to get all A pluses. It's just not, it's, it's really, it's challenging. Um, but I think that's what, you know, these student athletes want. They want to be challenged. Um, mm -hmm. They want, you know, professors that, that care. They want professors that know, you know, their, their, their topic and, um, and they do. And it's, um, but they're going to get challenged. And so it's figuring out how to, how to balance like high level division one basketball with just, you know, being in college yeah. and, and, you know, figuring out your sleep schedule and, and what to eat, when to eat, um, you know, how to hydrate, um, you know, so it's, it's a lot of, a lot of things. Um, and so it's just like, you're just finding the right the right balance. So would you would you say it's it basically it's uh, time management? Yeah, that's that's the biggest. Time thing. management is big, um, and just like listening to your body and you know making just healthy choices. Um, but I also want my players to to have a great time too to experience Princeton fully. Um, but but know that like the basketball piece is really really important. We sure. want to be you know successful. We want to play at a really high level. Um, so right, it's time management and just like balancing all those those things together. Um, sleep is one of those things that we're constantly <laughs> talking about, like how much sleep you do you need to be, you know, just a functioning, <laughs> functioning, you know, student student athlete. Yeah. So we're coming to the end of our show, and uh, usually I ask my guests, what advice do you want to give to the students that are thinking about coming to Princeton? Mm -hmm. What advice do you want to give them? Yeah. I think it's an unbelievable university. Um, I, you know, if you're interested, like find out about the, just the academic requirements. That's really, really important to, to see, um, you know, go to your, your college counselor and, and find out if you are taking the right, the right courses, are you taking APs, or are you taking the, the highest level courses you can take? Um, and then, 
Yeah. And like I said, the, the basketball piece, like, yeah, we're looking for, you know, good athletes that love the game. Um, and that, you know, have that growth mindset that, you know, want to be great at everything that they're, they're doing, um, that are great teammates. Um, I love just like kind of blue collar workers that want to dive on the, you know, dive on the, a loose ball on the floor, um, that want to take a charge, things like that. Um, so yeah. And just, you know, contact us and, and let us know that you're interested or have your high school or AU coach and, um, we'll definitely take a look. Right. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So you've been watching The Secrets of College Planning. I'm your host, Anthony Uva. Until next time.